Okay, what we have here is uh, epoxy mixed one to one and stirred. And I'm going to lay down a layer on this glass. This cheap glass that uh, has been waxed with mold release one time. This is a test, so I'm um, kind of experimenting to see just how poorly one can do it and have it still work. I also want to see how much epoxy the uh, vacuum system can pull out of this. So I'm going to lay it on maybe a little too thick and see what happens. Maybe like squeegee's better than the usual. Fiber. Sorry, I ran out of uh, memory on that last video. It turns out you need to take the uh, pictures out of your camera more often than once every three or four months. So here's our setup now. Um, we have the vacuum pump something on this hose through a trap that I made through this other hose over here for this vacuum adapter, which is cleverly made out of some PVC pipe uh, a bolt that I drilled down the center of and fitting and this down there is a drain fitting for a sink which screws in there and just happens to have a nice uh, rubber seal on it too. So I did a layup of uh, one layer of carbon fiber, one layer of honeycomb, another layer of carbon fiber, perf fly, breather material, and a layer of plastic on top of that. Just duct taped it down and everything is working fine. You can see the um, the epoxy coming through the the fur fly. I'm kind of surprised that there's not more coming through because I certainly used a lot of epoxy. Anyway, that's where we are right now. Let's see what it looks like when it's finished. Let's take a look at what's under it, by the way. You can see the bottom quite nicely. That looks like when it's peeled off. Okay, let's open this thing up. See what it looks like.
Hmm. Breather doesn't stick to the fuel ply. That's nice. Fuel ply. Oh, that comes out easily. Okay, this is going to be a little bit more difficult. Huh? bit of a ball of epoxy right there where the suction was. That's not so great. But the front it looks quite nice. So here's our beautiful sandwich panel. All nice and cured. I uh, cut myself a piece of aluminum here that's exactly the same weight as the sandwich panel and you can see, well actually just bent, you can see how stiff it is and how weak it is. It takes like, I can bend it with my thumb. I'll even bend it with my, not my pinky. It takes two fingers to bend it. But, I put sandwich panel on here. Obviously you can't hurt it with a couple of, fingers, couple of fingers. Let's see. A little bit of cracking noise. I weigh about 175. There you go. Perfectly okay. <laughs> 